This is our activity 3-4, which is sharing formulas between primary and subreports. Now, three different types of variables. There is the local variable, which is used just in one formula. A global variable, which is used potentially in several formulas across a single report. And then a shared variable that must be declared that can be used between main reports and subreports. Now, right now, we do have our US customers here, which has a main report and a subreport. We're going to go into the subreport. We're just going to double click. Now, in the subreport, we're going to create a new formula. Make sure that you are in the subreport. Right. Now, in the subreport, new formula. And what are we going to call it? We're going to call it suppliers counts. Now, we're going to do a while printing records. And we're going to create this shared number variable called supply count. Now, it will be evaluated as if null. Well, count if it's null. And what are we counting? We're counting the supplier name. That's what we're adding up if it's empty. And then close that bracket. If that's true, then the supply count equals 0. If it's not null, the supply count equals a calculation. Count the supplier supplier name. And let's verify that. And save and close that. Now we're going to take that and we're going to bring it into our report footer. It's got to be in the actual report to be calculated. Now we don't need to see it, so we're going to suppress this. We're just going to right click and suppress with no drill down. Right? So we've created that variable. Now we should print preview. Now when we print preview, there is a parameter in here. We're just going to search for MI, Minnesota. All right, we'll wait while it runs, and we don't see any suppliers. Right, we don't see any formula. You're not supposed to. Now, let's go back to the main report. And in the main report, we're going to create another entry in here. Right in the primary or the main one. So off to the formula field, we're going to call this summary text. And in here, we're going to call on that shared number variable. And you have to make sure you spell it right. That's what it was called. We're going to add customers as a string with a space. We're going to join that with the count of customer, customer name, and customer, customer region, and another join with two spaces. And we're going to join that with suppliers. And the variable. So that was declared as shared. So we can use it in here. Now, let's verify that that is right. And I bet you I have not got my brackets correct, but we're going to run it. I do. And let's save and close that. So we have this shared element. We're going to bring. Um, that in, but I'm going to do another section in here. I'm going to put a new section below this. Right. 
insert a section below this, and in that new section, I'm going to put my summary text. Whoops. All right. Now, let's go ahead and preview this, shall we? It's calculating it, and therefore it takes a few moments. So we don't see anything for Florida, but for Minnesota, we see the suppliers. Now we don't see anything below this, and let's go over. And for this one, one customer, zero suppliers. Now that should be appearing. And let's go back. I did do, oh, I put that in the report footer. And let's put it in the right one. <laughs> and let's preview. There we go. Now let's go back to the first page. Two customers, zero suppliers. Three customers, one supplier. And it is correct. And we're going to save that report. And that's the end of this little activity.